right guys, we're back again with another adventure today. Today I'm going to show you, since it finally came out for me, it's been out for a while, but I want to make a video on it, on how to make a VPN connection using WireGuard, now that it's available for the UDM Pro and the UDM. So let's get a video on this now. So first of all, you're going to go to your VPN servers. We're going to create new. You can select WireGuard or L2TP. We're going to select WireGuard. I blurred this information out right here because I don't want you to see this. Because I don't want you to get on my network. So that's why I did it. So that's the way it's going to be. So we'll call this network test. We'll just say test. And then we're going to go down here to manual. And we're going to add the port here to 8. We're going to look. If you want to look it up too, just if you see what the WireGuard port is, you can always just click here and go to WireGuard, and we'll go to port, and there, 58, 51, 80, 20, but you can just click it in here, and it'll tell you, there you go, 51, 8, 20. You can always change it too if you want to, 51, 8, 20. That's gonna be the port that we're gonna use. Uh, then I like to go to manual, because if you're gonna use a different DNS or a different server address, you can put that in here. I'm gonna use my pi hole, so it's 192.168.1.1. 184 so that's a pie holes uh, dns address so that's fine or you can use cloudflare which is freaking amazing if you don't have a pie hole but my pie hole goes to cloudflare so i don't have to worry but that would be for server one would be 1.1.1.1 and then for server two would be 1.0.0.1 and then you'd be good so we basically kind of basically made the tunnel already all we got to do is hit apply so we'll just uh, before, before we do that, we'll actually, you know what, we'll do that now. Hit apply. We got our tunnel now. So now we're going to go back. Here's our test right here. We're going to click it. Now we're going to add a user. So just giving you a heads up. Every time you add a user here, uh, it's going to give you like a little credential kind of thing. So we're going to add a new client. I'm going to just name it Miles. That's my name. Don't wear it out. I'm just joking. All right, so we're gonna hit uh, download profile. So before we even put create, we're gonna hit download profile. So I'm gonna download it right here. Perfect. I'm gonna hit create and I'm gonna hit apply. Perfect, perfect, perfect. We are good to go. We're ready to rock and roll now. So now I'm gonna minus this one out. We are done. We're gonna go to uh, back to search WireGuard and you're gonna wanna get this. We'll go to WireGuard right here and we're gonna make it bull screen. And then we're gonna to go to installation, and then you pick what you're gonna use it on. I have Windows, I've already installed it, the little icon down here. So I'm just gonna bring it up. And then we're gonna import tunnel. And since we have that downloaded, we just download, that's the tunnel that we want. So we're gonna to go to import tunnel. We're gonna to go to search all the way down to downloads, cause it's in there. Grab it, I'm gonna hit open, boom. There it is. Now, if I click this, I can edit it. I can click connect it to it. I'm connected to it. I'm going to get off it. But if I click here, you can rename it and stuff like that. You can rename it, toggle entry, unzip it. You can just toggle it. There's so much cool stuff you could just do on this thing. Uh, to name it, if you don't want like the name you have. I think it's like, let's see, uh, export tunnel, edit so the section of tunnel, tunnel name. You can name whatever you want it to name it there, like home or whatever you want. There it is, home. So there it is. I have activate button right here. So now what I'm gonna do first is, I'm gonna get off of this. I'm still on my home network. I'm just gonna show you my NAS. I go 192.168.1.1. And then look, uh, zero, actually go uh, 87 and hit enter. And boom, there I am. Now just to show you that it doesn't work, my tunnel's on. I'm gonna to go to my different network. I'm gonna go, let's see here if I can find it. It should be here. Where are we? I'll make sure my phone is on. I'll use my phone as a hotspot. It should be on here. Where are we? It comes, it gives a little sprick time that you gotta do it before it goes off. So we'll see, oh, it's off, that's why. I'm gonna turn it on right now. Okay, it should be on. Give it a minute. Let's go, come on, where, there it is. Connect to it, connect. I already put the password, pre-done this password, so it's just gonna be saved in there for this. So there you go, connected. Now, if I go to my NAS, and I refresh this page, 
going to time out. It's not going to go. So let's put, put the IP address in again. The same IP address. 87. <clears throat> it's not doing anything. It's just searching because it's not going to do anything. Since that page is already saved there, I'll open up another page. Go 1.168.1.1. 87. Enter. It's just going to say, it's just going to time out. It's not going to do anything because I'm not connected to my network anymore. So. I'm just connected to my phone, so I can't access anything. It's just going to sit there and just spin, do nothing, because it has no access. Or it'll just say, boom. Eventually, it's just going to be, like, timed out. But once I do this, go back to my VPN. Oh, there it is. Yep, can't be reached. Connect to my VPN. Boom. Then, there it is. It went. It's already looked at the little logos right there. So it should come up here, and boom. We are rocking and rolling. I get in, I can sign in and look at my stuff now. So yeah, uh, I just really wanted to make this for you guys so that you guys can have your, uh, you know, get your VPN going, get your wire guard rocking and rolling. But hey, if you guys like these videos, like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so you guys don't miss any one of these videos. Yeah, I just thought it was so cool. The UDMs and the UD, uh, UDM pros finally got wire guard after a while. I'm glad that we are up to the date with every the latest OS version now, so this is awesome. I was super, super, super de duper excited about it, and I just wanted to share it with you guys. But hey, remember as I always say, the most important thing is that you and your family are having a rock and rolling day. Peace out, rock on, and I'll catch you in the next video. <laughs>